Hello everyone, I am Ravi. In this video, we are going to insert columns on a page using Streamlit's columns function. In fact, it inserts containers side by side. You can specify how many containers you want using the first argument or parameter of this function. And using the second argument, you can specify the gap between these containers or columns. The gap can be small, medium or large. On the right side, there is a code file and on the left side, we have command prompt. Here, we'll change to the directory where this code file resides and then we execute this code file. We'll change to the directory. So the code file is in C drive, streamlit directory or folder and here we'll execute the code file. The code file has only one statement that is importing Streamlit library. Let's execute the code file. I use the command Streamlit run. Name of the file is main.p1. Now we can see it loads a web page and this web page shows nothing because there is nothing to show on this web page. What we'll do is we'll add a title to this web page st title and here we are going to add some pictures uh, we are going to divide this window into three columns to each column we'll add a picture and a title for the picture so first let's start with adding a title for the entire web page so let's call it as animals page I save this the moment I save this it will ask me to rerun or always rerun i'll choose always rerun because whenever i save this code file i want to see the effects immediately in the window so i choose always rerun so here we can see the animals page title now let's add three columns in fact they are containers so there is a function called columns we are going to use that function so columns and i want three columns so three columns, each column will assign it to a variable. So this function returns three columns, C1, C2, C3. So it's going to return three columns. First column is assigned to C1 variable. Second container is assigned to C2 variable. And the third container is assigned to C3 variable. So I'll take the first container. Okay. And here I will add the header. So the header is a cat then I will add an image in the same folder there is an image named cat.jpg I'll save this I can see in the first column there is cat and also uh, the word a cat which is a header and also there is an image now I'll take the second column I will add a header there a dog and uh, to the second column I will also add an image dog.jpg let me save this you will see the effect and then I'll take the third column and here I will add the header for third column so an oval so the file name is oval.jpg so let me save this we can see three columns the data is displayed in three columns actually these are three containers which are inserted side by side now let's go back to this column function at the beginning this column function also had a argument called gap so let me use that argument gap so gap if it is equal to small the gap between the containers is small so by default it is small you can see the gap between containers let me make it medium i'll say this now you can see the gap has increased so the gap is medium and finally let me make it large so the gap is large okay i don't want to use any gap because our web page size is very small so i just want to keep it as it is so I'll just remove this argument I'll save this and you can see the outcome so at the end of this 
three columns. After these three columns, I want to add another header and that is, or let me add another subheader or let me add the header. So I will call this header as you know, end of page, end of page. So I'll save this and if I scroll down, there is a header. So we can select any image and we can see it in full screen and we can get back to the original size, full screen and to the original view, full screen and original view so this is all about columns for now in the next video we are going to see something very interesting stay tuned thank you